now I want to walk you through the differentiation and unique value proposition section of your marketing plan. So this is how I, um, I guess this is, you know, the reason I'm walking you through my business is because I can share everything. I know the, in, the insider secrets of my business and I can just be open with it. So here are the differentiation that I, way, the ways that I differentiate my business and how I see my business as being unique from competitors. Um, generally, my approach to helping people with their business is usually practical and tactical. I don't focus on the big like motivation issues that much. I don't focus on productivity that much. I focus more on, okay, you got to get clients. Here's what you do. Here's A, B, C, do this. You'll get clients D, right? Very direct, um, no nonsense. Because if you have a business, um, there shouldn't be an issue of motivation, right? You should be motivated a lot already, right? Of course, motivation is important. I'm just kidding, but uh, but generally, my approach is more tactical and practical. I give uh, you know real tactics of how to accomplish actual things, um, and what I do comes from deep knowledge of my domain. I've been working on it for years now, and I've talked to a lot of customers every day. I really understand their needs. I really understand where they come from, and I actually really care. I really think about it. Even when the customers aren't there, I always think about how can I make it better? How can I do that? Even this course really came out of me working with one of my customers and seeing him struggle and starting a business without a good marketing plan and really failing. And I actually observed him like day to day and I was like, wow, it's really, you, I mean, it could have been so different if you just had a marketing plan. So, so boom. What do I do? A couple of days later, I sat down and I started making a marketing plan course. And so all these things that I do really come out of my work with customers. And that's why I, f I feel that it's so helpful to other new people because it's on the shoulders of other entrepreneurs. Of course, another way that um, I can uh, position myself, my unique value position is I'm just very good at marketing. So I can out market not all, but most of my competition, um, you know, at least 60 to 70 percent of it, I, I beat just on marketing alone. Um, brand growth and recognition, this is something I need to be do, doing better. Um, this is something I'm going to be focusing on more in 2000, late 2015, early 2016. Um, and of course, a lot of it, my unique value proposition is that I'm doing everything that I preach. I grew my business, I actually started multiple businesses, the current one is successful and so because it's successful I know what I'm talking about. I've done it, I've failed businesses, I've been in your shoes where I was a first time entrepreneur, now I'm later in my career, <clears throat> I've done it and I walk you through the right steps and help you avoid the pitfalls. So I kind of practice what I preach, it, none of it is theory, all of it is stuff I've done. Another way I differentiate, I understand entrepreneurs don't have a lot of money, so my, <clears throat> so my pricing is always affordable. I don't have like big prices on any of my um, products, my books, apps, courses, they're all reasonably priced. You get a lot of value for what you pay for, probably more value um, than what you pay for. Um, I also continue to build trust with people because my reputation is only as good as the trust that I have, right? It's, it's all of my reputation is based on trust. So if somebody buys anything from me, um, I go out of my way to help them to make sure that they get as much value as possible so that I am a trusted brand on the internet where there are so much untrusted stuff on the internet that this will be certainly a great way to stand out. Um, I also have a specific catalog approach to how I position my products on any platform. I have more than one product. Wherever I am, Udemy, I have over 50 courses. On books, I've got six. Um, apps, I've got like a lot, depending on which platform you're on. But, and basically I cross promote. So what it allows me to do is, because my pricing is affordable, I often position my products next to each other. So often people who like my products get more than one, which helps me beat, um, overcome the, the affordable pricing issue and also give more value to people who are my customers. So I kind of have this catalog approach, which I've really worked out pretty well and it's been working for me. Uh, another way that I differentiate from my competitors is 
I don't know about them, but I certainly have a relentless work ethic. That's something that um, you should kind of also have probably. Um, I also, you know, I have a fun kind of approach. I'm not too formal uh, and I've got great responsiveness, customer support. This is one way that you should also stand out and differentiate. I think it's the new way to do business is to have great, great customer support and really go out of your way for your customers. Um, and of course, I have apps that many people who um, coach on entrepreneurship, they maybe have a book, maybe a course, maybe something else, but almost no one has their own apps. And that's actually one way that I've been able to get a lot of publicity. So maybe you should kind of look to see how um, what you can do to stand out and do something that nobody else has because it will add more uniqueness to your business. So these are ways that I differentiate. I gave you a lot of examples. I put together 13 things. See what additional ways you can differentiate your business from your competitors.